हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बायोगैस प्लांट वी विल लर्न द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बायोगैस प्लांट ऑल्सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द गैसेस व्हिच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इनसाइड बायोगैस प्लांट मोर ओवर द अदर रेलिवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन आई विल शेयर विथ यू लेट्स बिगिन नाउ the technology of biogas plant was produced in india so it is an indigenous product okay and it was produced with the collaboration of indian agriculture research institute and khadi and village industries commission students we should always prefer local products indigenous products over the imported products why so because it will give business to uh, our local people and also it will increase the economy of the country so this is the better way to show your patriotism anyways going ahead biogas it is a mixture of gases which are produced by microbial activities and the gases which are produced major is methane it contributes 50 to 70% followed by carbon dioxide which is 30 to 40% and 10% gases are actually the mixture of gases two of them are hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide let's know an important information about the major gas which is produced inside this tank a which is methane okay it is highly inflammable so you can use the same gas in your kitchen for the cooking purpose the bacteria which are present in this biogas plant are mainly anaerobic okay and they are collectively known as methanogens and one of the common bacteria which is present inside this tank is known as methanobacterium okay and their function is to degrade the substrate the substrate inside biogas plant is mainly cow dung so their function is to consume cow dung and convert into it into fertilizers and also they produce the gases which are utilized inside the kitchen for cooking purposes students we know that cow dung it is commonly known as gober okay so this plant is also known as gober gas plant and the gas which is produced uh, from it is known as gober gas students there is a common connection or you can say interesting connection between the digestion of uh, cattle and this gober plant why it is so without the bacteria the digestion in cows is incomplete okay in their stomach a large number of an aerobic bacteria are present which break down the cellulose okay cellulose is a form of carbohydrate and you must know it that the enzyme for consumption of cellulose it is absent in human beings and also it is absent in cattle but there the function is performed by bacteria so the same bacteria they are present in excreta of uh, cows which is known as uh, cow dung or gober let's know something about the structure of this plant okay a concrete tank which is 10 to 15 uh, feet deep in which bio wastes are collected and a salary of dung is fed another important structure is a floating cover it is placed over this salary okay which keeps on rising as the gas is produced inside the tank and why it is produced it is produced with the help of bacteria 
ओके इट हैज एन आउटलेट ओके मीन्स अ पाइप विच कम्स आउट ऑफ दिस टैंक एंड इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द बायो गैस सप्लाई टू नियर बाय हाउसेस इट्स वेरी सिंपल द स्पेंड सैलरी ओके ऑन विच द बैक्टीरिया हैव एक्टेड इट इज रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम द टैंक and it performs as a function of fertilizers our farmers they use the same salary as manures and fertilizers in their fields so this biogas plant it is 100% profitable because it uh, gives us gas which we utilize inside our kitchens and also it produces manures which we use in our fields and the third important benefit of this plant is that it eliminates the pollution which is produced which can be produced with cow dung okay thank you students for listening to this lecture in case you have any query you can visit to my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com